Why does the ocean often suddenly recede before a tsunami? Have you ever wondered why the sea suddenly pulls far away from the shore just before a tsunami strikes? In fact, this phenomenon is directly related to how tsunamis are formed. When an underwater earthquake occurs, it displaces massive slabs of rock on the ocean floor, either pushing them upward or causing them to collapse. This movement shifts an enormous volume of water, generating a series of waves that travel rapidly in all directions. But unlike normal waves, tsunami waves have extremely long wavelengths, meaning the front and back of the wave can be separated by hundreds of miles. At first, the wave may be less than three feet tall, but it carries a tremendous amount of energy. As it moves into shallower coastal waters, the wave slows down, but the energy remains, forcing the wave to grow taller. If the front of the tsunami happens to be the trough, the low part of the wave, then it will pull the water near the shore dramatically out to sea. As if sucked away by an invisible force, this sudden retreat of the ocean is actually the leading edge of the tsunami. And just minutes later, the massive crest, the raised part of the wave, will come crashing onto land with devastating power. That's why, if you ever see the sea rapidly receding in an unusual way, run to higher ground immediately. It is one of the clearest natural warning signs of a tsunami, and one that could save your life.